a very interesting one as you go forward and wish to bet or gamble on these uh, specific finals coming up in the NBA and the NHL. I'm going to talk to you about how to bet them because of the fact that both of these finals, while they seem to be kind of lopsided, they are going to be very volatile as the series goes on because I do not think these finals are as close as people think. We're going to get into finals MVP, the money lines for these uh, kind of things, so it should be a very uh, interesting segment to get into. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. So in terms of both finals, starting off with the money line, start. let's start off in the NBA, where the Boston Celtics are the heavy favorites, in my opinion, in this final. At minus 225, the Mavs come in at plus 185, so as you can see, kind of heavily skewed to the Celtics. But as the series goes on, I really do think that this could benefit you to bet on the Mavs. Yes, they are back against it with their uh, betting projections, so there isn't that much value in doing it now, but I do think this is going to be a much longer series than people expect, especially due to the fact that the Celtics don't know what they have in Chris Porzingis in terms of health, so I do think that Boston at minus 225 is a little bit high for them. They are a safe bet. I do still think they win this series, but it's going to be much closer than people think. And as the betting odds get more volatile and volatile by game, if you're betting by game, I think that it could be kind of interesting to see if the Dallas Mavericks can help you out and potentially steal you a couple bucks if they win a game. So look to bet on the Mavs for a couple of games. As for overall, I think the Boston Celtics are the safer bet here. I don't think that you will be that disappointed should you choose to place a bet now on the Boston Celtics. I think they will win the finals, and that is a confident prediction for me, even though the Dallas Mavericks, I think, will make this a series. Moving over to the NHL, the Florida Panthers and the Edmonton Oilers, we're going to be talking about this in today's final segment. I'm really thrilled and excited to talk about that. Florida comes in kind of as a heavy favorite, but... I still think this series is also much closer than people think. Florida is at minus 125 in their money line. And Edmonton is at plus 105. So this can prove to be very volatile. It is kind of closer than the NBA Finals. Still, Florida is kind of in that range where you can say they are a heavy favorite. But overall, I do think that this also is going to be a close series. I think Edmonton could win it outright. So... This is one that you kind of have to be wary of because while I think the Panthers are a well-balanced team that deserve to win the Stanley Cup Final and they have the winning mentality they were there before, they have the experience in the final off of last season, Edmonton has some of the better players. They definitely have the better trio, in my opinion, in Dreisaitl, McDavid, and Bouchard. So I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of people put money on Edmonton to win outright. I think that this money line will look silly in the future because I do believe... I don't want to give my prediction away that Edmonton will make this a series. Now let's switch over to something we've also talked about previously in some episodes, the finals MVP for both of these series. I think that the the NBA finals is going to be much harder to bet on as well as the Stanley Cup finals because of the fact that you kind of have like these isolated figures on both teams that kind of make them hard to bet on because of the fact that they have so many opposition players surrounding them. And that is the case for the Stanley Cup Finals. But let's start off with the NBA Finals, where it seems pretty set in stone as to the, who the top three are. I think that it could change, but the top three has been rock solid for these past couple of weeks. And I don't expect it to change as much as the series goes on. Tatum is right now the number one Betting odds favorite to win finals MVP at minus 120, followed by Luka Doncic plus 200, and Jalen Brown vaulting himself into the top three with his conference finals performance. He sits at plus 500. I think that out of all those three players, Luka Doncic is is a guy you should watch out for because while I think that ultimately Dallas loses the series, he could be a guy who... For the first time in NBA history, I believe, and for the first time since the NFL did it with uh, their Super Bowl, the fact that 
a losing player can win MVP in the finals. I, I think that this is a huge proposition, and I think that it's one that people should not shy away from. I think that ultimately Luka is the best player in this series, if not in the entire world, and he is going to get his. I think that while the Boston defense is currently going to be one of the bigger challenges that this Dallas Mavericks team has faced in these playoffs, Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving will still get their production. I expect Kyrie to uh, vault potentially into the top three, if not the top two, as the series goes on. But another guy on the Boston Celtics side of things who I think is also underrated because of the fact he is a huge factor coming back into the squad is Christos Porzingis. Yes, he might not be fully healthy, but he still is a huge impactful player on both ends of the floor for Boston. He might not put up as much points as you would want out of a finals MVP prediction, but Christos Porzingis ultimately makes this Boston Celtics team that much more threatening, that much more deep, that much more reliable. So look for Christos Porzingis in these rankings to kind of vault his way and make his way into the top five of these betting odds. But ultimately, these top three, I'm not too surprised about. Obviously, you can talk a lot about Jason Tatum needing to prove the fact that he deserves to be the number one pick for the finals MVP in terms of betting odds. But he is definitely the guy on the Boston Celtics you would consider to be the finals MVP should they hang banner number 18 up in the TD Garden rafters. Moving over to the Stanley Cup finals uh, uh, betting odds for finals MVP. This one is a little bit more volatile in my opinion. I kind of lied to you guys in saying that the NBA Finals one is a bit more volatile. This one is definitely more volatile because there is a lot of isolation between both the Oilers uh, stars who are projected to be Finals MVP and the Panthers stars who are projected to be Finals MVP. But without further ado, let's get right into them. So McDavid, without a doubt, is your uh, Stanley Cup Finals MVP. He could honestly be another of those guys who, should the Edmonton Oilers lose, he could be a guy winning the Finals MVP Conn Smythe Trophy, if you will, in a losing effort. So look out for that. He's at plus 200. Then you have three straight Florida Panthers. That's where the variance comes in. With Barkov at plus 400, Sergei Bobrovsky at plus 400, and Matthew Kachuk at plus 600. It's really hard to bet on any of Florida Panthers due to the fact that their offensive production is spread out across all levels of their team and their squad. So I really am uh, kind of skeptical of picking a Florida Panthers to win Conn Smythe Trophy. So I really see this being very volatile. I expect a couple more Oilers in the top five as Leon Dreisaitl and Evan Bouchard to round out that dynamic Oilers trio sit at plus 650 and plus 700 respectively. So in terms of the Stanley Cup final, uh, it should be a, a, a crapshoot in terms of, uh, sh of betting odds. I think that Connor McDavid is the heavy favorite and deserves to be. However, a lot of people expect that the Panthers will win this series and that might create a lot of uh, skepticism, a lot of uh, punditry to say that a Florida Panther definitely, without a doubt, deserves the uh, Conn Smythe Trophy. But if you look at Connor McDavid's production this uh, postseason, he has definitely elevated his game, and he's one of the major reasons why the Edmonton Oilers have made the finals. Obviously, though, the Edmonton Oilers are become, have become more team-oriented in the postseason, and Connor McDavid's production may have kind of regressed to the mean. But ultimately, he is the king of the uh, Conn Smythe betting odds right now, and I don't expect that to change. I like... Uh, Sergei Bobrovsky, I think he's an underrated uh, option as a goalie to win the Conn Smythe. I think that he will be well deserving of a fantastic record in the postseason, but I, I just think at this top point in time, betting on a Florida Panther is kind of wishful thinking because you never know what you're going to get from them. Who knows who will step up for them. So I really like this Edmonton trio kind of balanced out between the top Ten of these, uh, or top six of these, uh, Stanley Cup Finals betting favorite odds. So, 
I really, really, really think that you should bet on an Edmonton Oiler going into this series. It is kind of debatable as to whether or not they win the series outright, because they are the underdog here. But I'm more, I'm more uh, leaning towards an Edmonton Oiler winning this award rather than a Florida Panther due to the fact that they just have more stars. But that should just about do it for this segment of the day show. The last segment of the day show is going to be a great segment. We talk about the Edmonton Oilers' path to the finals. We go over the finals preview, and I make my bold and very special prediction. We will not want to miss this segment. We will be right back for that. <laughs> 